Rambo. Oh, Sana. So I'm here today with Jufre. And Jufre, where are we today? We are in Mokuru Konseka, which is home to about 600,000 people. Uh, and uh, we're here uh, to, uh, to enable you to see my This is where I grew up, but also to show you how climate change is affected. And to show you how. So let's go. So like this is uh, where I used to play. As a kid, I used to play practically in all the places. All this space, it's a community uh, sport where kids are playing out. So I'm literally walking inside a hairdresser. So if you don't or look closely, these houses are made of metal and it is because of the sunlight that shines upon them way too much that it affects uh, people like Duncan who runs a business, but also majority of the community are affected because of the nature of this housing. I've been working here like uh, seven years now and uh, this job of ours uh, has been a challenge because of, uh, of the climate change. You know, my business, uh, I've opened my business on an on a aluminium whatever house eh? and in the daylight it's too hot. You cannot shave more than five people and you cannot accommodate more than five people because of that, uh, that heat. Okay, so we are right here at the railway uh, But I wanted to show you this is uh, Nairobi River. It has been heavily polluted. It's a uh, duck. It's lacking its color. And this is because of uh, the industries surrounding the uh, pool. So you find like these industries are heavily polluted already by these chemicals. Um, so as much as we are experiencing climate uh, crisis in our community, community members are actually taking up uh, efforts uh, and coming up with creative solutions. So one, um, you find that we have groups within the community that are doing advocacy campaigns, which are door to door. We also have regular clean cleanups, uh, but also we conduct uh, a couple of studies and reports to show that we document and have enough data. And this data enables us to like, uh, know exactly uh, how different zones are. So that, that is basically what we do. Hapa sasa tuna ukuzaji wa kilimo kwa mambo hii ya climate change tunajaribu kuonyesha kwamba katika hii mitaa yetu ingawa tu, tumebano sana tunaweza pia kutumia zile spaces ambazo tuko nazo kidogo tuweze kukusa mboga ili tuweze kuwa na uweza kuandrezi uhaba wa mboga na pia katika hali ya afya so ukiangalia katika area yetu unapata kuna zile familia ambazo asiwezi ku afford hata kupata mboga kuwa na ile nutrition so ukiangalia katika hizi mboga tuko nazo hapa kama ukulima tunafanya hapa tunajaribu kuweka pamoja hizo aina za mboga na pia tunayastumia wale ambao wamekuwa wame affected na uhaba wa chakula katika mitaa yetu so thank you so much for showing me around and next time bye bye